Hey everybody, Sean here and I hope you're doing well. David Hernandez is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Carrie Merle for sharing this. The short we're looking at today is of people supposedly receiving the gift of tongues and David activating tongues of fire. Please understand that tongues of fire happened only one time in the Bible and that was on Pentecost. The other times Paul laid hands on people to receive the Holy Spirit, we do read of them speaking in tongues, but never is tongues of fire mentioned again. And there's no scripture that says we can activate tongues of fire in someone. So why do people think that's the norm today? It was a one-time event initiated by God. And remember that the apostles had the unique authority to impart the Holy Spirit on people that were believers while Jesus walked the earth. Now we receive the Holy Spirit when we believe, as we're told in Ephesians 1.13. And Ephesians 4.5 tells us there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. There is no secondary baptism of fire for Christians. And if you want to argue that, then you're arguing with God's word, not me. So with those points in mind, let's look at this video. Bring this girl here. That's the power of God, church. She just received a gift of tongues. There's so much wrong with that. First off, there's this. Are you serious? Yada, 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 yummy, 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 yummy. I mean, did she just eat some cake? <laughs> Please, remember the rules God has laid out for speaking in tongues in the church. Two or three at most and one at a time and only if there's a translator. So there's the first rule David's breaking. Secondly, even if you're going to quote 1 Corinthians 14, 2 and that it's a prayer language between you and God that nobody understands, you're still breaking the rule in 1 Corinthians 14 and that there must be a translator. And scripture says it's a language, like one that can be translated, not like what we're hearing. <laughs> and David just saying she received the gift of tongues is wrong too. Because in the Bible, only those who followed Jesus when he was alive and lived after Jesus' ascension were prayed over to receive the Holy Spirit and they spoke in tongues as evidence of this. And this happened with the Gentiles to show them that the same Holy Spirit was falling on them as what did with the Jewish believers. Gifts are given by God alone, not when a pastor is breaking God's rules and taking the responsibility to do what only God can do. Speak it out loud. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Never did we read about people falling over when the apostles imparted the Holy Spirit either. And think about that last clip. He tells her to speak out in tongues and she speaks in tongues. And then he lays hands and says, receive it. Like what a gong show of deception. Speak it out loud. Receive it in Jesus' name. Pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. I love the, the different sounds of the gift of tongues. Did you receive it? Come here. You want to pray in tongues? Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Light her tongue on fire, Lord. Ouch! Light her tongue on fire? That sounds really painful. Light her tongue on fire, Lord. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Close your eyes. Lord, release that sound on them now. That's the power of God on you, man. No, that's not the power of God. That's the power of Torben Sondergaard. How can people believe this? We're Pentecostal people of God. We believe in speaking in tongues. And we should believe in God's spiritual gifts, but not when they're being taught and demonstrated in a way that differs from Scripture. Remember what Scripture says the reason for speaking in tongues in church is. And that's to build up the church. But we aren't seeing the church or God being built up in any way here. Always remember to compare what you see and hear to what Scripture says. And if they don't match up, 
then there's a problem. We're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.